Alright guys, so in this video we're checking out this uh, GNSS Performance Analyzer from SkyRC. It's a standalone GPS with a built-in battery and uh, you can check out the data that's collected on this via a smartphone app. Uh, it comes with uh, Android and iOS versions. We'll take a look at that in a second. It's um, not super light. It's nice and compact. It does come with a micro USB port and cable for charging the internal battery lasts roughly an hour give or take um, but you know it's not super light so let me uh, go ahead and show you how much this weighs yeah, it's coming in at 36.1 grams so if you're trying to measure the speed of something that is very lightweight um, this is going to affect the performance of it. So for example, I tested this on the Mavic Mini, which weighs 249 grams, so 36 grams is pretty significant. It, uh, it does, it is able to carry it. Um, it does seem to tax the motors a little bit, but it will, you know, if you're trying to see what the top speed of this is and trying to carry the extra weight, it will affect your measurements. So something to keep in mind. If it's on something larger, um, the weight isn't probably going to matter as much. Um, I think if you're on a 5 inch quad, for example, you're trying to check top speed, should be fairly accurate. I did show the top speed of the Mavic Mini. I tested that at the end. You'll see that. Now, um, well, I'll just show you a couple of uh, tests here. For, I, I want to do some accuracy tests. So I did one, of course, on the Mavic Mini for speed and height, but I also wanted to uh, see how accurate it was um, in terms of like uh, the uh, rolling average of the speed say in a car so okay so here's what the app looks like on Android uh, basically it connects to it via Bluetooth that's how it gets its data it shows you your battery life here and how many satellites it's currently seeing there's three different modes there's drag testing track testing and flying um, I tested the track testing in the car and um, I'll show you that here in a second and then the flying of course is on the Mavic Mini and mainly I wanted to see how accurate it was. Overall, I think that the speed is fairly close in terms of like if you want to see your top speed on the on the track. Um, yeah, and even flying seemed to be fairly close. Uh, the height, there's all, which, which, which flying measures, is a little bit off. You'll see that also at the end. But uh, basically, if you want to start measurements, you hit the start button, it'll start recording data, and it records the data internally on some, I think there's a memory chip inside here, and then once the test is done, you can then read that data. And then uh, the, I think the old tests will be stored here. You go to records, and here's some older tests I did. So I did track and flying, and what they show, so I think this is the most recent one, here, yeah. So this is the most recent test that shows a max height and max speed and average speed and also total distance uh, flown. So that's the data that you get. It doesn't show you like a graph of like how the speed changes over time. That would be kind of nice, but it isn't in this app. I think they have an older or bigger version of this sort of uh, performance analyzer that has more features. So yeah, I'm not sure why the, the this newer app doesn't have all those features that would have been nice so basically you just get like maximum speed and maximum height so that's something if you're interested in measuring that um, on something like a you know like a drag racing five inch this might be useful because it's standalone and you don't have to like connect it to beta flight or do any sort of configuration it's very easy to use with just the smartphone app yeah, so i'm going to show you the uh, test i ran uh, the first one was i just put this in my car and as long as this has a connection to the Bluetooth, you will get uh, basically an updated readout of the speed and the distance here on, uh, I was using track here. And you'll see that update. So I have recorded the phone screen a while that was going on. And at the same time to see how accurate it was, I have another camera that was recording the speedometer on my dash. And so I, I'm gonna sync the two videos and you'll see if, uh, how, basically how quickly this updates in versus the car. Now the car speedometer is only in increments of single miles per hour, whereas uh, this one uh, on the uh, GPS app is in tenths of a mile per hour. So, you know, obviously you see some disparity there. Also, the update rate seems to be slower on this app, uh, I guess through all the calculations versus on the speedometer on the dash. You'll probably notice that in the test as well. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you that. I'll finish that up. You'll see how accurate it is through that. It's like maybe runs a couple more minutes here. And then I'll show you um, the test on the Mavic Mini where I have that, I have that narrated while I'm actually doing that. That's pretty much it. I, uh, I'm not exactly sure how much this costs. Check the link down in the description if you want to check it out. Um, I think it's still on promotion right now, but I'm not sure how long it's going to be. So it's not too expensive. I think it's like $30. So if you want to do speed testing but don't want to deal with all the beta flight headaches, um, this is obviously just standalone. You just need this, some way to mount it to your craft, and then the smartphone app, and then you can get your data that way and run the tests. So hopefully that's uh, something that might be interesting to you. If you have any questions about this product, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, so I got uh, 12 satellites locked now, and we'll go ahead and start. We're going to do the, obviously the flying test, so we can see the speed and altitude in the data. So it should be recording now, and I'm going to go ahead and go switch to the DJI Fly app here, so we can compare. Because uh, as soon as I fly out of distance here, we'll lose um, the data or the, the live feed. So. We'll see what the data is on the screen here, and I'll have the uh, other screen as well up. It's going to start recording the HD video, and we have uh, 14 satellites on the Mavic. A bit of a wind coming towards us here. So no problems holding the uh, the GPS, the extra GPS, the extra weight. I can I can hear the props, uh, the motors sound a little bit uh, like they're working a little bit harder. So we're holding here at looks like about 4.6 meters. I should probably change that to feet. I think the uh, other GPS on is uh, in feet. I'll just uh, we'll have to translate it on the screen here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go go up here first. Let's we'll do a height check first, and I'll hover it. All right. So the DJ app is saying I'm at about 15 meters, and I'm going to not exceed that altitude. So I'm going to bring it back down. So that should show up as a maximum altitude in the data that's being read by the extra GPS, the uh, one we just added. I'm going to bring it down here, and we'll do some speed testing. All right, so the way the camera's pointing right now is towards the wind. So we're going to go into the wind. And this, um, and this is actually normal mode or P mode, so I'm going to actually go into sport mode. So I'm bring it back here. Let's switch this to P or sport mode. All right, so now we got full stick forward here. So it was something like nine meters or nine point something meters per second. Let's go back. And coming back is faster because we're going with the wind. So that maximum speed is going to be faster. Let's go out and kind of away. 9.5 meters per second. 
And we'll bring it back. So this is with the wind, it's going to be faster. 10, 11. Yeah, so that was much faster going with the wind. And the GPS is staying on there. So let's go ahead and I'm going to land it. So that should be it for the uh, speed and height test. Let's we'll see how accurate this is. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. We'll go back into the GPS app. And we we'll go ahead and stop this test and then read what data we've got here. So average speed of 9 miles per hour, maximum speed of 27 miles per hour, and it does not, oh, the maximum height was 56 feet. So I'm uh, thinking, let's see, 15 meters, let me see, um, that's I think about 3 meters, is about 3 feet per meter approximately, so I think maybe a little bit off. I'll have to do the calculations at home and we'll put up on the screen uh, to see how accurate these numbers were. Because I, I should have uh, uh, changed the uh, units on the Mavic to miles and feet, but they're in Imperial uh, units, so we'll have to uh, do the translations on the uh, screen here in post-production. So we'll see how accurate it is.